They stormed the Capitol on January 6th. They beat up 140 police officers, killed, killed one, okay? They killed, they killed one. But Americans should say no. We have to say no to that. We're going to try to get as many questions as we During a televised town hall, Tim Ryan turned a Fox News crowd's booze into cheers. Ryan gave a brilliant answer to a question about political violence that won the crowd over. What is your definition? When you say that the MAGA movement should be killed and confronted, who is in that category? The guys who stormed the Capitol on January 6th, they are the lead. They're the leaders. They're the, they, they, they're, the, they're the leaders. This is what I'm saying. On January 6th, 140, cap, I, I sit on the subcommittee that funds the Capitol Police. These are my friends. 140 of them got hurt. And some of them still can't go back to work because they were beat up with lead pipes. They were sprayed with pepper spray. They were beaten with flagpoles. Okay? They were trying to overthrow the government. They were trying to stop the peaceful transition of the government. What else were they doing there? They're going to kill Mike Pence, right? They want to kill Nancy Pelosi. Now somebody's beating up Nancy Pelosi's husband with a hammer. J.D. Vance raised money for the insurrectionists. He made several social media posts to raise money for them. Now, again, I don't care what your politics are, but Americans should say no. We have to say no to that. We're gonna Ryan drew many cheers throughout the event with strong answers on abortion, marijuana legalization, and energy policy. The it's windfall great... tax that President Biden mentioned, a tax on oil companies' profits, are you for that? Um, I haven't looked at exactly what he wants to do. I think the fact that oil companies are making huge profits and having stock buybacks right now, while average person here is paying nearly $4 a gallon, I think that's wrong. And I think we need to crack down. We need to crack down on it. You also said that you thought that nonviolent criminals should be released from prison. And a lot of people fall into that nonviolent category. What I'm talking about here is marijuana crimes. I think we need to legalize marijuana. I think. Well, you said all nonviolent criminals out for sure. I'm sorry? You, you, you said, said all, all nonviolent criminals well, out. Well, I, I sure. think the focus is marijuana crimes, in my mind. There's so many better ways to spend this money than locking somebody up for marijuana crimes, and especially when, when white and black people use marijuana equally, black people are six times more likely to go to prison. Like, that's an unfair system. I'm sorry, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I think, I think we go back to Roe v. Wade. Which... Ro Roe v. Wade was in the third term. In the third, in the third term of Ro in the third term of Roe v. Wade, you could only do it if there was some kind of medical emergency. We don't want J.D. Vance and Ted Cruz and all these guys in the doctor's and office. Do you I, my so you have a limit. My personal view is we go back to Roe v. Wade. We move away from this chaos that we're in now. We had 50 years of case law. We had stability. And now we have women. And we have doctors, Brett, who won't, won't perform what they need to perform on a woman whose life is in jeopardy. And then the doctor says, I'm sorry, I have my own kids at home, and I'm not going to prison over this stuff. So I, I guess happening. at what point, he said you want to ban abortion in Ohio and across this country. Is that true? Look, I'm pro-life. I, I, I am pro-life. Now, there is a federal piece of legislation moving through uh, the Senate right now, and here's what it does. Very simply, it provides reasonable exceptions, but it also sets a minimum national standard, and I think that that's a good idea.